Hi everyone, this is Sir CJ and this is just a quick video uh, regarding the uh, activity number two, measuring population density. It's an elaboration because I think uh, it's needed uh, given the uh, number of people who are actually commenting on the video na parang nangangailan pa sila ng extra explanation. Okay, so uh, I am a science teacher and uh, tinuturo ko rin ito sa mga estudyante ko. And then, uh, just very recently, I also realized that some of my instructions were not very clear. So, uh, I'll be making them clear uh, through this video. So, activity number two, measuring population density, has the following objectives. The first one is uh, for the students to be able to determine the pattern of population distribution using mathematical formulae. And then, the second one is to compare the distribution patterns of different populations. Ang ginamit ng mga estudyante dito ay papel, uh, pencil, and uh, ruler. Uh, pero in my um, classroom activity, ang pinagawa ko ay pinareport ko ito. So, nangailangan din sila ng mga markers, ng mga coloring materials, as well as manila paper. Alright. So, um, yung nasa book ng mga bata ay uh, ganito yung itsura niya. Well, it's not exactly, I think, uh, what is in here. Pero, is um, a rectangular um, a rectangular figure, figure number 4 yata ito, kung saan meron lang siyang details sa may length pero wala siyang details sa width. So, uh, the first thing that uh, me and my students did ay um, tinignan muna namin, of course, kung ano yung nandito sa book. And then uh, we measured, uh, ang nakalagay is 18 centimeters. Um, ginawa namin ay minano-mano namin siyang measure using our ruler and we actually got different results. So, uh, we just took the mean, yung average ng mga measurements namin. So, may mga nakakuha ng 63, may mga nakakuha ng around uh, 68 and 69 uh, millimeters. So, ang ginawa namin, we added all of them or most of them and then we just uh, divided it by the number of uh, possible uh, outcomes that there is. So, ang nakuha namin is 66 millimeters. Ayan. So, 66 millimeters is equal to 18 centimeters na nakascale dito sa ating uh, libro. Ngayon, ang ginawa namin ay itong width na tinagurian na lang namin x. So, tinawag namin siyang x. Uh, Minasure din namin siya ng mano-mano. So, um, given lang yung 18 centimeters, hindi given yung x. Yung 18 centimeters kapag minano-mano mo siya, makukuha mo 66 millimeters. Ngayon, ano kaya yung makukuha namin, uh, natin kapag minano-mano natin itong X? So, in our uh, experience, it would be around 78, 83, ganun, or 82. And the, the average is going to be 80 millimeters. So, ibig sabihin nun, uh, 18 centimeters is equal to 66 centimeters. And then, uh, yun namang X, an uh, unknown, is equal to 80 millimeters. So, ang kailangan natin yung malaman is ano kaya yung value ng x. Ayan, kung in-scale down yung 66 uh, millimeters into 18 centimeters, ano kaya yung magiging value ng scaled down na 80 millimeters? So, ang um, ginawa namin ng next step is we, uh, you, we converted the ratio and proportion into fractions. So, this fraction is 18 centimeters divided by 66 millimeters and it has to be equal to x at over 80 millimeters. So since it's an equality, we can do cross multiplication. So we cross multiply. 66 mm times uh, x is equal to 66 uh, millimeters x. And then 18 centimeters times 80 millimeters is equal to 80 millimeters uh, multiplied by 18 centimeters. So... Uh, Kumbaga, inuna na namin sinulat yung uh, term ng millimeters uh, kaysa dun sa mga expected naming centimeters. So, remember, itong x na to dapat in centimeters siya. So, what we got here is 66 uh, millimeters x and then dito naman is 1,440 millimeters centimeters. I know that this is not like parang mathematically uh, following the rules pero it's what worked in our discussion. Kasi the next uh, part of our uh, of our um, process is going to be dividing both sides by 66. So, kapag dinivide mo kasi sila, bo both sides ng 66, maka-cancel out itong uh, millimeters dito. So, pag ayan. So, 66 millimeters divided by 
66mm is going to be cancelled, matitira itong x. And then, kapag dito naman, uh, pinag-divide mo ang 1,440mm centimeters by 66mm, matatanggal yung millimeters, matitira itong centimeters. And that's how you know na tama yung ginawa natin. And then, the result is going to be 22 centimeters. So, ibig sabihin nun, itong uh, width dito, x, is equal to 22 centimeters. So, uh, kompleto na. And this is a rectangular uh, area. So, alam natin, para makuha natin yung surface area, uh, rectangular, a flat rectangular area is uh, going to be uh, the product ng length at saka ng width. Okay, so... Again, bakit length and width ang ginamit? Kasi that is the uh, formula in getting the area of a flat rectangle. So, meron tayong length which is uh, 18 centimeters. Again, uh, given na yung length kahit kanina lang, ang dilemma lang natin is kung ano yung width. And then the width that we uh, got based on our measurements, it's uh, 22 centimeters. Again, so you multiply them, you'll get 396 square centi. Meters. Now, uh, the continuance, the contin, uh, the continuation, continuation of the solution uh, is going to be like this. So, alam na natin yung area. Anong next na gagawin natin? Uh, we need to get the densities. In the densities, kailangan natin bilangin yung number of uh, members per population. And then, um, for Bermuda, what I remember was 55 pieces yung ano namin ng mga sudyante. And then uh, for the lilies and clover, uh, we were able to get the following. So lilies, merong uh, 14 and then clover is uh, 19. Ngayon, uh, pwedeng napagbaliktad ko ito pero basically uh, kung napagbaliktad ko man, uh, clover is 14 or lilies is 19. Pero uh, the idea is you have to count the number of members per uh Tagdon per area. So again, warning ko lang sa'yo, uh, baka kasi napagbaliktad ko, ko ito, so I'm still encouraging you, dear student, to count. So bilang, bilang, madali na lang itong area, itong part na to, kasi yung area, nakuha mo na. Ayan. So again, uh, count the number of Bermudas, of clovers and lilies na makita mo sa like, rectangular area na to, and then uh, you will be uh, getting... Uh, the density na. So, first, organize them into the following uh, table. And then, um, ang gagawin mo is you will be dividing 55 by 396 square centimeters. Yung 396, saan galing yun? That was the area. Sa natin nakuha tong formula na to, bakit natin siya dinidivide? You will get this sa book mo. Okay, so sa book mo, makikita mo that uh, yung number of uh, of Organisms must be divided by the area. At ang makuha mo lang doon is going to be 0 0.138. It's going, it's going to be uh, rounded into 0 0.14. Ayan. And then you will be doing the same for the clovers and the lilies. And uh, again, if my memory serves me right, you will get around 0 0.04 and 0 0.05 respectively. Ngayon, kung nagkamali si ano, Sir CJ about this, pwedeng ang lilies is actually 14. And the density is 0 0.04. And then yung clovers naman are actually 19. And then the density is 0 0.05. Kumbaga, I'm giving you these answers. Uh, but uh, I'm also encouraging you to please try it on your own to confirm it. Ayan. So uh, that is the end of this uh, really quick video uh, regarding uh, measuring population density. And I am so sorry if I just recorded it now. Uh, medyo na basic kasi sa ibang mga ganap natin <laughs> sa buhay. Alright, so uh, this has been Sir CJ and I hope that I will see you in the next video lesson.